Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and guess what? I am going to do a giveaway. Okay, so I was going to wait until I hit 5,000, but I haven't done a giveaway in a really long time. So we're going to do it at 4,000, which I think will be quite soon. So here's what I'm going to do. You have to be a subscriber, so make sure you click that subscribe button in the corner. And you can also hit the bell notification to all, so you're notified when the videos come out, especially the giveaway winner. And so what I'm going to do is, since today I'm opening a Goodwill Blue Box, I'm going to offer two things, a choice for the winner, and it is going to be a Goodwill Blue Box, no matter where you live, it's open to everyone in the world. So for the international, I will pay the shipping, I will send it to myself and then ship it to you, you know, you guys in the other parts of the world. Um, I'm going to eat the shipping and everything on it. And, you know, obviously, if you're within the US, that's um, fine. So I think altogether now the Goodwill blue boxes are 40 with shipping somewhere around there. So first option for the winner will be a Goodwill blue box shipped to you. Or if you're not a jewelry person, you can um, choose the second option, which is which will be a $40 credit to any of my videos. So you can purchase up to $40 worth of stuff, um, you know, like within any of my videos. So I will keep a tally. And um, once you hit 40, you know, that's it. But it could be within any of my videos, jewelry, shoes, purses, a $40 um, credit. And I have to think about the shipping on that because I think... I guess it'll depend on what it is because if it's jewelry, stuff like that, the shipping won't be a lot. But if it's like something heavier, um, you know what? I'll eat the shipping on that too. So $40 um, in credit on any video that you can, you can choose anything you want to buy for $40. Um, it could be, you know, over a course of two videos, five videos, however long it takes to get you to that $40. And I will pay all the shipping on every on everything. So this is a really big one for me. I want to thank each and every one of you for sticking with me. And I love each and every one of you. I love your support. I love talking to you guys. I love reading your comments. I love reading your emails. You guys have been really great to me, even when Nico passed. And I just really appreciate you all so very much. So again, um, you have to be a subscriber, so make sure you're clicking that subscribe button in the corner. Um, click the thumbs up on this video, and um, you have to, let's see, let's do a comment on this video. So if you would like to enter the, the giveaway, comment on this video. Um, you, it would, you know, one comment is fine, but I'm gonna do the, the comment picker and weed out the the multiple comments so one comment is okay so just let me know you're entering the giveaway um, and you will have a choice between a goodwill blue box sent out to you or a $40 credit not including shipping so that's $40 total in goods um, in any of my videos um, so yeah that's really it um, so let's get into the video. It's a Goodwill Blue Box. I haven't had one of these since March, since actually before Nico passed. Um, so this should be interesting. And I got two, and they're from um, Tennessee. So I think the ne I probably my next video will be a Goodwill Blue Box as well video. I don't think I'll skip around. So let's open it up and then we'll also hang on to any, um, you know, single earrings, hoping that it'll be in the next box. All right, here's first impressions. I like what I see with this little guy. 
So, and if you are interested in purchasing anything from this video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's in the description box, please. I only accept PayPal and um, payment is due immediate upon receipt of the invoice. I'm going to try to do the sold list that'll be pinned in the comments. Um, it's probably going to be a lot of items, so when you're emailing me for purchase, please be specific. Give me the timestamp and or screenshot, and make sure you give me your PayPal email and mailing address if you have not bought from me before. Shipping is $5 um, within the U.S., flat under one pound. And then it will go up over one pound based on where you live. And then I do ship international. Um, and that rate will just be based on your location and the weight. And of course, USPS. <laughs> All right, so I'll probably, you know, repeat that information here and there throughout the video. So let's get started with this big jumble. Let's actually start with this guy because I saw him. Okay, so he's a necklace. I was kind of hoping he was a brooch. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. And then there's something else caught up with it. Here we go, yay. All right, so it is a necklace with, um, it is abalone shell on a cord. So it's probably just like a little tourist piece maybe from an island or something, but it is very pretty. Um, we can just do five on it. Here's an earring, but you know what? Even if we do find the mate, I'm not interested in, you know, selling this because it's kind of doo-doo. So we will put that in craft. Any, any items that you see me put in craft that you're interested in is a dollar. This right here looks like it could be a mess. Oh, lordy lord. Let's try to get this out of here without making a disaster. Is this on the necklace or what? That's kind of weird. How did you get on there? All right, I might have to cut this because I don't know how this got on here. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just had to cut that blue thing, but that went into craft. Mm, this says 925, but I'm not really thinking that it is. No. So this is just going to be, um, yeah, am I focused? We'll just do um, two bucks on this. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah, there's just some so two dollars on that. This is really pretty. This looks like it could be sterling. It does say 925 as well. Um, you know what? We're gonna I don't want to test like everything and I don't want to take too long. So if we start to find a lot of sterling, we'll wait to the end to test everything at once. Because I don't want to keep stopping because usually these videos are pretty long with the unboxing. So uh, blue box unboxing. So this definitely was sterling and it's actually really pretty. It's small, but let's get a size. It's five and three fourths. And we'll do 12 on it. Leaf ring, very pretty. This I love. This is a charm bracelet. How does it go? With um, stars and moons and stuff like that. This is really cool. I like this a lot. So we got all these different charms. I won't go into describing it all because you can see it. <laughs> um, I don't see a maker. It's in pretty good condition. And of course, I forgot my measuring again, so hold on. I don't know why I can never remember to bring it over here. It is a seven inch 
bracelet. Very cute. And let's do um, let's do eight on it. Of course, someone got to start up their lawnmower as I started my video. Hopefully it's not, hopefully you can't really hear it. My living room windows are open, but my office where I am, the window right here, it's not open. So it should, we should be okay. Okay, what are you? You kind of look cool, so I'm gonna try to figure you out here. Hopefully you're not gonna take me too long. I think there's someone else caught up in here. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oops. So it's a little twisted, but you get the gist of it. It's just a fashion necklace, no maker, um, but it is really, really cute. It's got all these faux pearls and all these different chain links. It's gold tone. It does have a... Where did it go? It does have an extender right here. So wearable length to the first layer is eight inches and then 11 inch to the last layer and then you can make it tighter. So let's do six on that, that's really cute. We have a vintage necklace here this clasp is probably sterling. I would say yes. We're not gonna test it though. It's very, very small. And it's just plastic beads. It's a 14 inch total length. Um, it's definitely got some wear on it. The iridescence is kind of coming off. Um, Mm, actually, it might be glass. I think so. I don't know. I'm not liking the wear on the iridescence. So, um, this will just, this is going to go in craft. I know it probably has, it's not marked sterling, but look at that dollar. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This looked cute, so I pulled this out. This is Avon. Oh, you guys, so I have, um, for my new subscribers, if you're new, welcome. Um, I just wanna let you guys know I am still doing my jewelry monthly subscription box, and uh, you will find the link in the description box to find out all the information about it. I won't go into too much detail, but I offer a jewelry subscription monthly box that you can join. Um, so feel free to look into that in the description box. You can click the link. Um, this is Avon, and this is in really nice condition. So let's do um, let's do six on it, and it's a nine and a half inch wearable length to the pendant. And all the jewelry in my subscription boxes are handpicked by me. Some of it I get from lots like this, and some I actually go to um, thrift stores and handpick pieces and buy them specifically for the boxes. So it's really cool, it's really nice. Uh, maybe if I remember, I will put in some um, clips of my subscription members complimenting and you know talking about the box because I save I save the comments So this is um this is just a plastic purple beaded necklace. It's a nine inch wearable length. Um it's in okay, yeah, it's in good shape with the barrel clasp. We'll do three on that. 
Okay, this was the necklace that was stuck with that um, illusion necklace. It's got a little bit of wear on the clasp, but for the most part, it's in really good shape. And this is really pretty. It's just plastic, though. Um, we'll just do four on it. It's pretty long. Actually, no. We're going to do a dollar in crafts because there's all kinds of wear on the beads up here. Okay. Craft lot it goes. going to try to move a little quicker because these, like I said, these lots usually take a long time and I would prefer not to be over an hour. <laughs> okay, this is no maker as well, but look how pretty that is. I think it's just plastic. Um, this is not in the best of shape, but maybe somebody can restring that. We'll do three on it. Here's an earring we'll save. Put that, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Oh, I'll put it over here. Okay, now we have this piece. Hmm. I think this is gonna go into craft two. It, there's just way too much wear on the necklace part. Um, and on, on all the jump rings, so that'll be a dollar. Here's a single earring we can put to the side. This is actually pretty cool. So this is just one super long strand. Got one super long strand with um, these plastic beads and seed beads and they're all like have an iridescence to them and it's a 24 inch wearable length so you can definitely um double that for sure so let's do five on that I'm trying to get these tangles oh, here's something that came out this looks like, okay, it does have a maker mark. It says GV9, that's kind of weird. Not that you guys can really see that, but there's the pendant. Gold tone, it's got a pretty nice weight to it, but I don't think it's anything special. Mm -hmm. There's no other markings. It's a 10 and a half inch wearable length and it can be smaller. Uh, let's just do five on that. What's this? That is really cute. Oh, I, I knew it looked like Kate Spade. Kate Spade. My screen is so dirty. I really probably should have cleaned it off because it always looks like I'm out of focus. That is really stinking cute. Wow. And it's in really good condition. Almost looks new, honestly. Um, eight inch, or it could be the tighter at seven inch. It might be brand new. I don't even know. Maybe someone put it through that loop because it was like that when I, I just found it. So um, let's do 12 on this. That's really cool. All right, all right, not bad so far, not bad. I don't think Tennessee is really too bad. Um, I seem to get bad boxes from Texas and Florida. And Jersey, I think, is the better box. Um, okay, this is just a faux pearl necklace. Uh, let's see if there's any markings on it. No, so we'll just do $4. And here's another faux pearl necklace. This one looks a bit vintage with that real, oops, with that really cool clasp. Let's see if there's any uh, markings on this. No. Um, it seems to be in pretty good shape. It just needs a little bit of a cleaning. 
So that's definitely nice and vintage. And it's an 11, 11 and a half inch wearable length. So let's do, um, let's do seven bucks on that. This is just a little plastic, nothing special. This is gonna go into craft. The chain isn't really in the best of condition. All right, this looks really long. So let's try to get this out of here. And here's an earring stuck with it. Um, but this is gonna go right into craft because there's a lot of wear. And I do sell my craft lots and also mystery jewelry lots uh, in my eBay store. And you'll find the link to my eBay store in the description as well. Um, I sell five, five to six pound mystery jewelry, which is all wearable and resellable. And I also sell um, five to six pound, well, usually it's like four to six pound uh, craft lots um, on, in my eBay store as well. So, uh, and shipping on those are free. So these are pretty cool. I don't really know what this is. It's just one really long strand of suede. It might be real suede and these stones look pretty real too. Like they're an actual stone. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's pretty cool and we'll do like three bucks. So let's see, we have something else with a suede cord. Um, it seems like it's broken. Um, this, I don't know, this might be broken or something. I'm not really, oh wait, maybe it's a necklace with this long strand of, I don't know. We'll do $2 on that. If anybody wants those for the components to craft with. Oh, I'm already starting to get an itchy nose from this dirty jewelry. Okay, here's a... I guess we'll hold on to that earring. Oh, look, here's the other one right here. So it looks like it's a letter. J? I don't know. It's just copper with a, a uh, bluish teal bead. Uh, I don't know, we'll just do two bucks. It's another earring, I guess. We'll save that. Ooh, uh, that earring says something. So this, uh, this earring says 925 up there. So we will definitely hold on to that one. Here comes that lawnmower again. <laughs> okay, so remember guys to email me if you're interested in anything, another chance resale one at gmail.com. Check the description box for all my information. Check that sold list before you email me. Um, also, you have to refresh your screen. So if you're watching the video and you're like, you know, 40 minutes in and you check the sold list, no, 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 no. It's probably gonna be you know, you have to refresh your screen and then check because I'm sure it'll be updated and changed by then. This is going into craft because the chain is, is quite gross actually, but that flower is pretty to be repurposed. All right. Come on, tangles. All right, this is, this is just a no. That's going into craft, it's kind of bent up. This has a really big knot in it and it looks like something's broken there, so that's craft as well. And plus it's very lightweight, it's probably just a cheapy little piece. This says Liz Henry. It looks to be silver. Yep, it says 925 on the clasp. And we have a cute little pendant with a blue rhinestone and it does say 925 on the back of that. So, uh, that's a seven and a half inch wearable length. There is an extender so you can make it a little shorter. 
and I would I would believe this to be sterling. So let's do let's do eight bucks. It's, it's a, that's a fair price. This is actually really pretty. Check this out. Oh, there's missing stones. Poop. All in here. One, two, three, and here. What a bummer. Okay, so that'll have to be craft. All right, let's keep going. It's a little bit before lunchtime that I'm recording this, so I might have to stop for lunch because I'm getting hungry. All right, this is this part right here is not really in the best of condition, but the rest is kind of cool. Silver tone beads, uh, plastic and metal. Oh, it's missing a stone. That's really cool though. All right, craft. I don't repair stuff. I just don't have the time unless it's like a super mega expensive brand. <laughs> This is just plastic black beads. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna put that into craft. What's this thing? What are you? It reminds me of a torque necklace. I guess it kinda is. It's purple. Kinda looks brown, I don't know but it looks like it's in good condition. If you have a really cool pendant to put on that, that's pretty cool. So we'll just do three bucks. Now let's see what's in here. Oop, that I think we can just put in craft. So this reminds me of Chico's, but it is not marked. And it's in fairly good condition. It's got a couple little scratches on these beads, but it's really, it's really quite cool. Kind of asymmetric with the beads and stuff. Kind of like it. All right, so as it sits now, it's a 10 inch wearable length to the pendant and it can be made longer. So let's do six on this guy. Okay. This looks like one of those magnetic bracelet thingamabobbies. So why every time does my, I start a video that my <laughs> phone goes off. Okay, so there's all, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff stuck to this. Oh, there it goes with the phone again. Um, look at all this stuck to it. Okay, so this craft, I don't really do anything with those magnetic pieces. That's a pretty cool earring. We'll save that. Um, all these. So we can check the studs. I mean, like the post to see if it is sterling. And I don't see any sterling. Or you can go like this with your magnet. So what I'm going to do with these little studs, I'm just going to put them right into craft. They're not anything special, so I'm not worried about trying to sell a teeny itty bitty stud. However, these backs I will keep because they're always good to have. And this little pendant is, or charm, it is not in good condition. What is that noise? I think someone's playing the radio or the music really loud outside. Anyway, so here we go. Here is a, hmm. mm, I'm not sure if this is in good condition or what. Yeah, I guess it is. You know what? No, I don't like it. Nope, that's going into craft. Nope. Here's an earring. Let's see, does it have all the stones? Yep, okay, we can hang on to that one. Here's another little stud. Nope, craft. Uh, that's really in bad condition, but the cross is pretty cool for someone to repurpose, so that went into craft. All right, come on. Well, we're just gonna unhook you. 
There we go. So this looks like an origami owl piece. You can open up the heart. Well, I'm not gonna open it, but you get the point. Um, I do see one missing stone, but the rest of it is in really good condition. You, you really can't even tell where the missing stone is. The chain is in really nice condition. So I'll sell this. Uh, wearable length is nine and a half inches and you can make it shorter. So we'll do four on it just because there's a missing stone. Eek. That says Claire's. I mean, this is really nice, but the chain is not really nice. So that's going into craft. All right, we're gonna have to un unclasp you too there, buddy. All right, this guy is cool. I really like the tiger eye center. Stones are all there around. Really cool piece. Chain is in good condition. It does have an extender. So as it, the longest length is 10 and a half inches to the pendant and you can make it shorter. So that's actually really nice. It's in good shape. So let's do eight. That's a huge honker piece of tiger eye. That's a pretty good price, huh? <laughs> Okay, what's going on here? That's a big tangle. And it looks like the chain is broken already. Yeah. So you know what? I might just cut it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this is broken. So we're gonna put that into craft. Um, okay, so this is a really uh, pretty, it's pretty good condition, silver tone, and it's got all these little danglies. We have a flower heart here, a jar filled with glitter and faux pearls, and then this little bead. So this is pretty cool. There's no extender, and the total length is about 14 inches to the pendant. So that's cute. Let's do six on it. All right, this looks like it could be something special because of the thin little chain. So let's, I don't know what this is stuck in here. So let's try to get this undone, but I don't know how successful I'm gonna be because this is a really tiny chain, but let's see. I might have to stop the video and get back to you. Yeah, let me do that. All right, you guys, I spent way too much time trying to get this undone and I can't. Um, I probably can, but I don't wanna spend forever doing it. The clasp says it's 1 20th, 14K gold filled. Um, it's really not worth me, you know, figuring this out. Um, this is just gold tone, this little lady. So um, it's just gonna go into my, my gold scrap. So that is nothing that, you know, we need to worry about. <laughs> so let's just keep going. If it was like like regular 14 karat gold, not plated or filled, I would have untangled it, but it's just really not worth it. Okay, so this is also going into craft. This chain is not in good condition, but that pendant isn't bad. This bracelet, what happened here? Okay, so we have a little flower, a little blue bead, I mean purple bead, and it says, believe in the beauty of your dreams. So this is nice, this actually might be amethyst, so let's turn on Pressy and we'll put that aside for now. This is going into craft, that's not in wearable condition. We have a little stud here, so that's craft. Okay, next little chunk. All right, Pressy's on. So let's see if she, this is amethyst. So if it is, 
the needle will go to this the middle of this bottom black line here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, amethyst. So this is in very good condition. So we'll do six on it. Okay, not silver. So that'll just go into craft. That's a pretty cool earring. We'll hang on to that one. Ooh, is this a brooch? Um, okay, there we go. Yep, this is really pretty. I don't see any maker marks or any um, writing on the back, but this is very pretty. It's um, Mother of Pearl Leaves. There is a little bit of wear right here. Um, it's kind of like silver tone, but honestly, I think it looks really nice. So we're going to do five on that. This is just a plastic beaded necklace. We're gonna put that into craft. Um, what are you? You are not in the best of condition, so we're gonna put you into craft as well. Uh, remember guys, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Check that sold list before you email me. Make sure you refresh your screen to see the updates of the sold list. Uh, hmm. I guess this is, this is in good condition. It's just a uh, string, but these beads are like little cat eye beads. Actually, I'm wrong. So look at, there's a lot of wear on these beads. There's like, yeah, no, mm -mm. we're going to put that in craft. We have a little charm bracelet here, an arrow, a heart, and a <sighs> clef. I don't remember what this is called. The music sign. <laughs> hmm. I don't believe you to be sterling, but we can check you out really quick. Nope, we have a faker. Well, not that it was fake, but. So this, it's not really in the best of condition. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It looks to me like it's pretty worn, but it might have that look, you know what I mean? It's an eight inch. We'll just do two on it, how's that? It, I'm like iffy on it. <laughs> we have this necklace. It is a brass, like, antiqued gold tone. And um, I really should have cleaned this because this is, like, bugging me out. Uh, oh, oh, we're missing pieces. All right, we're, we're putting that in craft. This is nice but it's got a lot of wear, so we're putting that in craft. All my craft pieces are $1. That is hair, that is gross, and going in the garbage. This looks like sterling. It looks like somebody may have handmade this. Oh, that's the front. With some nice, um, you know, earth tone beads and a sterling crucifix, yes. And it is marked to the back. These actually feel like glass beads. And it's an 8 inch wearable length. So let's do 10. And this looks like sterling as well. It is marked. Mm, I don't know about you. You are slightly magnetic. Okay, so it is sterling. Uh, 
um, it's kind of small. <laughs> Eight inch wearable length. Um, we can do 12 on it. Okay, we'll hold on to that. This is all messed up, but the pendant's pretty cool. Oh, we're missing a stone. All right, craft. Let's look at all this stuff. The, okay, we hold on to that earring. This is a Leah Sophia earring, so I guess we can hold on to that for the mate. What are you? Um, we're just putting that in craft. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to get this big, like, gunmetal piece out of here. All right, so this is super de duper long. It's all these, like, teeny itty bitty beads, I guess. And then a knot and a tassel at the end. It seems like it's in good shape. So the wearable length to the knot is 19 inches. Uh, we can just do four on it. Pretty cool. All right, we have some more suede here. Try to get this out. I can feel the grime on my fingers already. Um, oh, I think I forgot to mention my jewelry subscription. You can join any time um, because once you join your build and then I, I mail out the, the box immediately. So it could be middle of the month, end of the month, it doesn't matter. And then going forward, it's um, the first of every month. I don't know what this is, <laughs> so we're just putting it into craft. Let's see. No. Nope, not doing that. Big Sis Owl. It is not in good shape. Craft. Nope, that's craft too. Here's an earring. I guess we can hold on to that. We have a charm bracelet. It's not in good condition. Craft. This is why I kind of took a break from the blue box. The price went up and I was just getting junk, so needed a break. Craft. It's just, you know, you get tired of buying junk after a while. This is pretty cool. It seems like it's glass beads with the silver beads. I mean, it's not really in the best of condition. That's going in craft. This is marked. Who are you? Mythology. All right. I don't know what was holding on here. There's a random jump ring, but I could always take that off. It does need a little cleaning, but this is in pretty good condition. Any missing stones? Wow, I don't see any. All right, so let's see. Wearable length is nine inches and it can be shortened. So let's do six on this. Not in good condition. That's not in good condition either. So if we get the mate, we're not keeping it. All right, we're almost already down to the bottom. So let's see what we got going on here that's left. This is Charming Charlie, and we're just going to skip on it because the... Um, Necklace, like the chain part of it, was not in good condition. We're also going to put this into crafting. I guess I'll have a craft lot to sell after this video. <laughs> a 
This is a religious cuff. It says, God is our refuge and strength. Psalm uh, 46, 1. It's a clamper. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's just a little dirty. I like how it's gold tone and silver tone. It's quite nice. Uh, let's do five on it. I see something has a Cookie Lee tag, so that's kind of cool. Let's get you untangled. Somebody here? I don't know. Sorry. Um, this is actually really cool. So. This is just plastic white beads. They're kind of see-through. Oh, I think the mailman's here. I hear him downstairs. Um, this is actually nice. It's in really good condition. It's perfect for the summer. It has an extender. It's gold tone. And wearable length is about 10 inches and you can make it shorter. So that's actually really cool. So let's do eight on that. That'll, that necklace will look excellent with any color top that you wear. It would just look so cool. Okay, that's going into craft because there's nothing in the ring. Let's look at what's Cookie Lee. So brand new Cookie Lee, $12. What is this, just a, like a charm? Maybe like a key charm? I don't know. But hey, brand new, uh, let's do five on it. Ooh, look, we have cloisonne, guys. Black cloisonne bangle. I know I have a few subscribers that like to buy my cloisonne. Here you go. Black, uh, it's probably seven inch. Seven and a half inch. We'll do eight on it. Um, okay, so this, let's see. Of course, I had to get it into a knot. All right. I really don't feel like unknotting this, to be honest. <laughs> okay. It is in good condition except for the jump rings right there, but the rest of it is nice and that's a pretty cool pendant. And it is long and we it's 15 inches length, wearable length to the pendant and so we'll just do five on that. This is cool, this is vintage. I love the vintage clasps, so nice. No markings. It is a long faux pearl necklace. 14 inch wearable length. Yeah, faux pearl. Um, yeah, it's in good shape. It's got some nice weight to it. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. We'll just do four on it. I know pearls aren't really the cool thing, even though I believe they are coming back. Okay, that earring is not in good condition, so we're going to pass on that. That's missing a stone. Pass. Ooh, this earring is actually pretty. So let's hold on to that. This is an express earring, but it's not in good condition, so we're going to pass. This just looks like a gold tone chain, which I will keep for necklaces, for pendants, so that'll be mine. This looks nice. No markings on the chain, but look at this butterfly. Very cool. Very thin. It actually looks like the wings in the back. That is really cool. Yeah, no markings, so let's see. There are three lengths that you can be on, and this is the longest. 
at eight and a half inch length, wearable length. Oh look, it's kind of see-through. That is really cool. Let's do eight on that one. That one's really nice and it's in nice condition. Look at this earring, holy moly. Good condition, we'll save it. All right guys, look, this is the last of it right here. So let's dump it out. All right, that's it. So let's take a little gander. I don't normally say gander, I just said it. <laughs> ah. Oh wait, here's a bead that fell over there, so that's craft. This one's in nice condition, we can hang on to that. This bangle is kind of scratched up, so we'll put that into craft. Did you guys subscribe yet? Make sure you subscribe to be entered into my giveaway. And, the, and to be entered in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed. You have to click the thumbs up on this video and you have to leave a comment below. Um, that's going into craft, it was all scratched up. And remember the prizes, you have a choice of two prizes and it is, well, choice of one of two prizes. Um, and it is open to everybody, no matter where you live. It would either be a uh, Goodwill Blue Box five pound jewelry lot or $40 credit to any of my videos. Um, this is not really in good shape. Well, actually it's just the back. So we can do like three bucks on that. That's missing a stone, so craft. This earring's in good condition, so we'll hang on to that. This necklace is Claire's, so we're just gonna pass on that. Let's get rid of this little cat hair, whatever you are. That's a cool earring, we can hang on to that one. Here's a ring, super long. That's kind of cool, actually. There are no missing stones, so let's sell it. And it's a four and a half size, and we'll do four bucks. So again, it looks like that. Ooh, this is a nice earring. We'll definitely hold on to that one. I like that one a lot. Look, here's that other one. So we're just gonna toss that because it wasn't in good condition. Here's a cool ring. I don't see any makers. Wow, look at that. Now that's a cocktail ring. You wear it, it's a little tight. Cocktail rings you wear on your first or middle finger. Usually your first, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Really cool. It's that like antiqued gold. Pretty good condition. Size eight. And we'll do five. Here's a really pretty earring. I like that a lot. Don't see any makers, but hopefully we'll have the other one in the other box. Here's a pretty cute ring. It's adjustable. It has not been adjusted yet. It's brand new. Uh, and it's right now sitting at a six and a half. So we'll just do four on that one. Okay, that's a no. That's a no. That just means I'm putting them into craft. That we're gonna pass on. This says Trifari on the earring back. I guess we can hang on to it and see if we find the mate. That's gonna be a no. Oop. This is in good shape. We'll keep hang on to that. Let God, Souvenir de Mar Morrow? I don't know. I mean, it's in good condition, a little pendant. Just do three bucks on that. No, the back of that was, oops, I dropped it, it was green. That's a pretty cool earring. We can hang on to that. Okay, all right. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you click that bell to all so you're notified when I come out with a new video. That's a no. Click the thumb, I mean, uh, the, yeah, click the thumbs up. Yeah, I guess we can hang on to that one. 
Nope, that one's not good. All right, let's see. Yes, we'll hang on to that. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully we find some of these mates, huh? This is a ring. With like a dark gray rhinestone. Five and a half. We'll do four on it. Yes, we'll hang on to that. All right, I don't really think there's anything else too special in here. Those are going into craft. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. And um, stay tuned for part two, which is the other box. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching.